and we are off to the races. Hi, this is Jason Daniels with Finch and Gable Real Estate Company. And boy, we are in the month of February here and we are off to a really strong start here along the Front Range. Right here in Colorado Springs, when we take a look at the number of sales, we are actually up 9% from January 21 to 2022. Also, inventory is up from January 2021 to 2022 by 6%. That means we are seeing more choices for buyers out there and more opportunity for buyer to actually get into a home. Also, we see that the average of medium sales price are slightly down from last month, but overall they're up about 15% from year to year, January to January. So prices continue to increase. The good news, we see inventory loosening up just a touch. So currently, there's 549 homes available in the Colorado Springs region. So definitely things are picking up and we're seeing um, a good thing here moving forward. We have the Denver area is um, also light, slightly down from sales and inventory month over month in both in Colorado Springs, Denver, and along the Front Range. We see that seasonally, but what's really interesting is the year over year stats. In Denver, we have the statistics from December to December from 21 to 22, and prices are up by 18% in the Denver metro area, and the average sales price for a single family home is 688,000. The interesting thing is the active listings in Denver are really low. Last year, in, or actually December of 2020, there was 2,487 homes available. In December of 2021, as we were rounding out the end of the year, there was only 1,525 homes. So Denver is seeing a crunch in inventory, which the demand's not down. So we're gonna see continued increased pricing throughout the year. We are already pushing pretty strong here in the month of February. And two months ago, ladies and gentlemen, we predicted that rates were gonna go up, approaching that 4% mark. And I'm here to say it is February and rates for conventional 30-year loans are already at 3.5% and government loans for FHA and VA are right around 3.25%. So I see this continuing to move forward as we get through further into the year. I, again, I still believe rates are gonna hit that 4% mark, and I dare I say it, they may go over 4% by the end of the year. Let's hope not. Uh, the faster they go up, the more dramatic effect it's gonna have on a, a affordability in housing. As you know, I also had another video late last year that talked about the impact of the mortgage payment and the overall interest that you pay and why homes have two prices. So if you wanna know why homes have two prices, go back and find that video. But all in all, really strong year, still historical low interest rates when you look at the last 50 years. And the good news is here in Colorado Springs, inventory is loosening up. Denver, it's tightening up. So we're hoping that there's gonna be more new construction, new permits. Here in El Paso County, Pikes Peak Regional Building, they've already permitted 3,000 multifamily apartment units in the month of January. And in 2021, there was 9,000 for the whole year. So in one month, uh, they've built or pulled permits for 3,000 multifamily uh, apartment units, which is good because the apartment and rental market is tight as well. So as we continue to move forward, uh, we're gonna see opportunity as long as rates continue to stay in that affordable range. So if you have any questions, reach out to us, visit our website. If you're thinking about selling a home, let us know. We're happy to give you a market analysis. And if you want to purchase a home, click on the links if you are uh, on our blog or website and you can check out the current inventory. Otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.